To begin the permacil delivery, position the orca within the delivery hose range. Take the truck out of gear, set the parking brake, and chop the wheels. Inside the cab, you will have specific controls to transfer the engine power to the onboard alternator. These controls are power takeoff or PTO, the PP5 valve to prevent you from driving off with the PTO engaged, and cruise set to deliver the correct RPMs to the alternator so it can deliver the proper voltage to the ORCA control cabinet. To power up the system, the first step is to press in the clutch. With the clutch in, press in the PP5 valve. This prevents you from driving away with the PTO engaged. Next, switch the PTO to the on position. To start the alternator spinning, let the clutch out. The final step to power up is to set the speed control. The electronic speed control is pre-programmed to provide the proper RPMs to drive the alternator. This is important so the proper voltage is delivered to the control panel. Soon after the orca has come to a complete stop, the cryogenic liquid in the vessel will be thoroughly mixed and the liquid will not be stratified. Prior to making a delivery, you must note the liquid conditions in the orca. This is important so you can monitor subcool in the orca to protect the pump and also adjust the pump speed to efficiently fill the permacil. Remove the delivery hose, inspect and prep the fill connection. Connect hose to the fill connection on permacil. Record the initial liquid level condition on the permacil. Record the initial permacil pressure. Next, on the ORCA control panel, power up the 12 volt DC. The flow comm meter will now indicate a status S for standby. To power up the control panel with the 440 AC from the alternator, turn on the main power. To begin the recirculation mode to cool down the meter piping and create some subcool, press the start button. Confirm the controller switch is in the auto mode position. During the powering up of the system, the pump is in recirculation mode and the delivery pressure rises. During this brief recirculation mode, the meter section is counting down to confirm cooldown of the system. Once it displays go, the system is ready to dispense. Adjust the pump speed until the pressure is at least 50 psi greater than the permacil pressure. This is required for a successful single hose fill. The maximum delivery pressure for nitrogen is 200 psi, oxygen 225 psi, and argon 250 psi. Review the ORCA operating pressure. It must have increased by at least 2 psi, so the liquid is in a subcooled state. This is necessary to ensure that two-phase liquid is not present in the pump. Otherwise, damage to the pump could occur. Open the pressure building circuit if necessary to maintain proper subcool. This may be necessary for long deliveries, such as to a bulk tank. To begin the dispense process, press the start button again. During the dispense cycle, the liquid level can be monitored on the Siltel gauge. The pressure in the permacil will rise at first and then begin to fall as the cold liquid collapses the vaporized gas from cooling down the orca hose and permacil piping. The permacil pressure will continue to decrease as the colder liquid from the orca mixes with the warmer liquid in the permacil. Once the liquid level in the permacil reaches the internal mechanical float, the float rises and restricts the flow entering at the top fill. When this occurs, the flow meter senses a dramatic change in flow and shuts down the dispensing mode by automatically closing the main orca hose solenoid valve. The delivered amount of gas is indicated on the flow meter totalizer. To begin printing the delivery ticket, turn the printer on, press the printer release button, insert the ticket, and press the forward button to lock the ticket in place. Press and hold the stop button until the E appears on the flow meter totalizer. 
Press the start button to print the ticket. Press the stop button to clear the flow meter totalizer. Press the release button to remove the ticket. Close the printer and prepare for ORCA shutdown. Disconnect and stow the hose. Turn off the power to the control panel. Remove and stow the wheel chocks and close the ORCA cabinet. To power down the controls inside the cab, press in the clutch. And the auto speed releases. Disengage the PTO. Let the clutch out and pull out the PP5 valve to release the brakes. Your micro bulk delivery is now complete.